And we are back live. Hello again. We've moved on to a different room. Um, just the adjacent room. Yeah. No story that I can remember being told about this, but yeah. this whole area was at different times used for the help or for the slaves of the area, of yeah. the house. Yep, yep. She said they owned 15 slaves? Yeah. And After the census required them to knock right. down. Yep. Unfortunately, we are in the basement in the slave quarters, and it, we don't always get good signal down here. We're trying our best to remain live, so our signal or our broadcast isn't so choppy. But everything will be posted as we get them. Yeah. We are getting movement on the court again. I did not touch it this time, it, but I was, I was, we were moving around, so yeah. the breeze could have caused. For sure, for sure. But I was also noticing a little bit before. I was peeking around, but I didn't get any footage of it because I'm a dingus. Uh, we all can't be perfect. Yes, I can. Okay. Just to make sure. I was getting some reading. You got a two. No, you're up there. Okay. Which would make sense. It's a yeah, light fixture. Yeah. yeah. That's just the electromagnetic yeah. field from the light bulb. It's normal. Yeah, that's, that's basically, this is... That's intended as a electricity tester. You put it up against mm -hmm. something to make sure that it's live or it's dead. Um, ironically enough, in this reason, we're using it for exactly the opposite. We're trying to figure out if something is dead or alive. Right. All right, we got one viewer. Welcome, welcome. We are here in Beatty Mansion with Byron, Hello. Tay, and I am your cameraman, Alex. Oh, you're the cameraman. Well, Tay's a camera per person too. <laughs> yes, we've got the we've got the big budget camera over there um, for future projects. And uh, if we get anything, oh, was that just away from me? But I did just get something. Yeah, we just we just had a person leave the broadcast, so that might be it. That's possible. Because okay, yeah, that's definitely from the phone. Okay. We want to try to take in and... But we're going to keep a... That's why I'm standing back away from yep. yeah. we're, Yours shouldn't take and actually set off that much since it's all contained, but let's find out. Yeah, oh, no. Oh, wow, it is all contained. Yeah, you can go all around this. Yeah, There's basically. a little something there, but I think that's from the magnets in the motor. Yeah, you pretty much have to touch it to get something. Else. Yeah, whereas... Mm -hmm. There, I think the cell phone signal is definitely... No, right, it's definitely... Next to your balls and see what that does in 60 years. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That is why they got rid of the groin pocket, folks. Cell phones. So the rim pod is lit up to red. Um, should something come along to take and set it off, you can see it's just basically like this, only it's actually... It's projecting its own field. Yeah. Yep. All you gotta do is break the field. And you yep. see... So it's not gonna pick up anything else other than something crossing that barrier. Theoretically, Theoretically but they it should. have gone crazy before. Yep. I like the, uh, the um, semi-creepy like finger marks that are on the, the door. And here we are with our little orphan Annie's. Very Raggedy fun. Annie. Raggedy Ann's, yeah. And, and the piano does work. Yep. It's not in tune, clearly. No. Uh, it is a player piano, apparently. Yes, so, yes. Um... It can play on its own even without, you know, any interference. I'm not going to set it up. I don't even begin to know how. Uh-uh. But. Because these things are expensive. Even if they're broken. So let's not fuck true. with it. Uh, just to make sure here. Okay, we are getting electro field off of the light bulb. So I believe that does actually work or should Sounds like my group moved off. Yeah, you'll hear oh. the other group. Oh, that's uh, Mike himself. What up? Uh, Welcome. Testing, testing. We're on. It might just be the uh, concrete that's test, in there. Test, and that's so hard. Test, 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 test. Nothing. Nothing. Okay, try again. Try again. There's our man, Mike Wright. 
Yeah, I th I, that's all the way to the right or left. Are you Facebook Live? Yes. Sorry. Well, we don't have any viewers right now. Okay. Yeah, I got you, but you're not getting me. Okay. We had a Here, viewer. I look, make sure that I didn't screw something up when I was. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's on 38. So, okay. no while they're doing that, let's take a look at this table. So the so owner the said. The reason why I called you guys is because we had a door slam on us upstairs. Interesting. Oh, yeah. We did not do anything that would uh, be considered slamming a door. Well, nope. I was just going to see if you guys were upstairs. Nope, no. nope. We are downstairs. We have been. Come on. One. For a while. Come on, I need to make sure I'm on. Come on. That okay. one's my favorite. Okay, let's try this. It's not creepy at all. You. All right. You're coming through? So. Okay, we'll go back up and try okay. this again. Because, yeah, door two is kind of busy. Alright, so they have some doors slammed. Oh, lights yep. go off. Lights go door off, door slams. Ooh, boy. Okay. Sounds like the upstairs is real active right now. Went ahead and reset the rim pod because it was going crazy. Probably because of the uh, walkie talkies. Yeah. Uh, this area was thought to be an office, I believe. Yeah, and there's another one on the side here that uh, is the same, so um, you can see it actually looks out into the current parking lot area. Yep, I'm not going to point out there because there's my car with my license plate. I don't want to yeah. get docked. And we can blur it on the, on the <laughs> final footage. Because I'm that important. So. Um, again, we're just going to test the... So, so we get blips going around here. No, this is an 18th century space heater. Ha! <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. 19th? <laughs> um, hmm. No. Oh, I don't okay. think so. I'm not much of a historian. Sorry, I'm guys. I'm this. You know, 20 pens pose. <laughs> Probably. Uh, we might do something with the chairs later when we have dark souls. Yeah. Um, a little bit of an Estes method. Yeah. What's an Estes method? Oh, you'll learn. <laughs> there's there's a couple of things we're going to be doing tonight that we haven't done before either. Oh, okay. Uh, at some point, I'm going to give a... Uh, I brought a mirror, and we're going to try a psychomantium. Oh, okay. So if you're unfamiliar with what that is... That's the guy from Metal Gear Solid, right? Yes, that is exactly what that is. We're <laughs> going to take and make sure you got to plug Controller 2 in. So <laughs> you can't beat him. Uh, <laughs> yeah, tr true. Um, no, it's, it's very similar to mirror scrying. The... Uh, you're going to set up a mirror so that it is not uh, looking directly at you. You want to be able to not see yourself in the mirror, and you're going to just maybe ask a question or two, and you're going to look into the mirror in as dark a room as you can, which is why uh, the flash on the camera is capable of red, and I made sure that the headlamp that I got is able to take and have a continuous red light. Red light is more like firelight, and so less likely to interrupt or anything like that. All right. Okay. Since we're not allowed to have actual fire in the house. That's correct. Yeah. Like a candles. candlelight would probably be best, uh, but... Now the ghost can do all that because of that's, this is our house. I'm going to say right now that if any ghosts start a fire, I'm probably done for the night. Just True. all the way out. True. I feel that. I feel that. So, I, don't think, I don't think any of the ghosts that are here, though, are that kind of... Uh, no, I think they genuinely like this place. If they, yeah, it's a, uh, it's a homey place. It was a lovely place back in the day, for sure. Yeah, unless you were, you know, like, yeah, you were, hey man, no, you never know. I don't know they been like, yeah, maybe, uh, we don't probably know. not, but you know. <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of things. Um, this has been a a mental institution, a wayward house. It has been a house for, for the friend list. The friendless. Friend list, yes. Um, because after uh, the Beatties' death, the house basically was given to the city, and the yep. city sold it to one of the local charity groups, and they opened up a halfway house, would probably be the best way to state it. Yeah. Um, from there, it changed hands a couple times. It was a mental institution, and there is at least one confirmed suicide on site. Yep. Um, it has been a fraternity house in the past. Um, yep. So fun fact about this place, we are all from the area. So okay. we have a little bit of a connection to 
what's going on here between me, Tay, and Byron. Yeah, my, my family was one of their founding families in the city. Yeah. And I've been inside this house it as it, when it was a fraternity house. Yep, party um, hardy. Uh, I will not divulge stories or names on that <laughs> unless they are pertaining exclusively to me. And I may give you guys the I ran over myself story later, but right now we're going to move on. Yep. Th nothing too spooky about that. That's just you being a dipshit. I mean, I'm not going to argue <laughs> that. I really can't argue. I believe argue. there was alcohol involved in that story, too. What? Not on my part, though. Alcohol at a... completely sober. It may have been the only person... And that almost makes it worse. ...that were here that was, that was sober and ran yourself over. Hey, my car sucked, okay? <laughs> it All right. Sucked. It was an 81 Mustang, inline six... And that thing hated me as much as I hated it. So here's some preserved food Which that is, is exactly why I did not buy a lot of it has been there for a really long time. Yeah. And our gem, ah. pure olive oil. Ain't that we're funny? Again, uh, have, uh, we're getting it off of the phone, I'm assuming. Uh, no, well, let uh, me back up yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, Definitely phone. off the phone. Um, yeah, uh, that car at one point I found out that... Um, I found out vaporized antifreeze was toxic because of that car. Not that I really needed the confirmation, but the heater core on that went out, and uh, what do you know? It, that type of car started pumping antifreeze through it and vaporizing it into your face. That Interesting. So much. Yeah, well, every time I hit the highway, suddenly I felt very nauseous. This was... And it would only happen over 35 miles an hour. Here's... You know, and there's a lot of stuff that was here from when it was a fraternity house, clearly. Freezer. Yeah. And as you can see, it is actually big enough to fit multiple people. You gotta squat a little bit. Do not lock that door. Yeah, yeah you'll have <laughs> trouble getting out for sure. Um, but you can see that this setup is actually very similar to what you have as far as a window unit. For an air conditioner. True, true. Um, it just gets a lot colder. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, your window unit can get really cold, but the confined space helps make it so that uh, it gets... So, beh the behind this freezer, there's actually a tunnel system, yeah. but that's been completely they blocked saw, off. Yeah, they sealed it off and locked it off. Due to flooding and other issues. Let's see what's in here. Pantry shelves. Wow. Not anything spectacular, but... Ooh, careful, Byron. Don't yeah. be pulling on that. We're not forcing anything today. So the fact that uh, that doesn't want to move means that we're not moving it. Yep. Um, yeah, the tunnel system in this area would go down to the riverfront. Mm -hmm. um, because porting uh, things into the area. And so it would allow him to take and supervise so he could yes. go there. In later years, it was used for bootlegging purposes and other mm -hmm. such things. Um, and it, from what I understand, was a bit of a problem when they actually kept people here for um, the hospital purposes. Yes. And uh, let's be clear about this. Beatty was an incredibly wealthy man. He, he was about $80 million, worth about $80 million in today's money. That's what's on record. You're right, right. I mean, you might have had some side hustles. You never know. Not, but. not to be judgmental, but in all honesty, your net worth is almost never accurate. What? It's just what people can see. Right. So if you've got other dealings, it's often much more, but you don't talk about it. Yep. So we're heading back to the kitchen. Now, the stove and the refrigerator and the sink there are all. Post, uh, probably put in the last 60s is what I think she said. Yeah, yeah and... Which makes sense. I mean, obviously, they didn't have microwaves in the slave quarters. It was nice that it, was be, it would be. This place would make for a very creepy frat house. Oh, yeah. That was when I used to frequent here, uh, because I had a lot of friends that were in that fraternity. The basement was one of the few areas that there were more than a few guys that were not comfortable with coming down here. All right, we're gonna enter the area that does not have electricity at all. It is a non-functioning bathroom here. Horrible echo and smell. Just as a bathroom should. Yeah, but you know, stagnant is not usually the smell you want in the bathroom regardless. Oh, unfortunately. Yeah. Um, Shit happens. 
<laughs> I hope not, because, you know. Um, everything here is definitely 1950s style. Um, no shower, just a tub. The sink is a single pedestal, and the toilet here does not actually have a porcelain guard going between the tank and the bowl. It is just mounted to the wall and a pipe is run between. Yeah, right. somebody had the bright idea anywhere there was plumbing that let's put a toilet and a shower into it. Which... When you're using it as a sanatorium or a or a wayward home, it does make sense in that aspect, but yes, it does wind up ruining a lot of the... Um, yeah. More yeah. decorative aspects of the building, yes. for sure. The original intentions. So, nothing in here currently, and our e, our REM pod is still silent at the moment. Yeah. And the, there were many horse and carriages in the area, and yeah. so these are original to them. Matter of fact, uh, the area that we're headed towards slowly would have been some of the horses' uh, indoor mm -hmm. housing. This uh, obviously is some sort of utility room. We've got a more modern... Right. Uh, more modern than my house. Yeah, but, you, know, <laughs> you can't make music with these. Your washboard, on the other hand. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Listen, we all like country music. Uh, I think you got half of that, right? <laughs> okay, so we are entering the boiler room. Boiler room. Um... Now, there is no electricity running anywhere into this spot, so there any... A, it does come down with a slant there, so be careful. Yep. So any EMFs that aren't caused by the phone are worth thinking about. And let's see when the last boiler inspection was. Um, September... This... Wow. September 19th, or uh, September 2nd, 1965. Go ahead and turn off the recording and turn it back on here in a second. We just want to make sure we've got smaller chunks instead of sitting through a 15-minute video to find like 30 seconds worth. So. Okay. But me, I'm live. I'm sticking around. And that's fine. We're just trying to make things easier for our back post. Yep, yep. Hello, everybody. How are we doing? We're still getting no readings on anything. This seems to be a little bit of a catch-all as far as uh, what's around us. So there's a piston on the wall. There's some sort of old baker uh, rack, like a store shelf. Sawhorse. Yep, right over there is the yep. sawhorse. Uh, there is a water heater, and that is functional. Everybody, feel free to comment and ask any questions that you have. This is Beatty Mansion in St. Joseph, Missouri. Enough, though, earlier when we were down here with the, uh, with the guide, right about this point right here, I was getting a very flowery, like, lavender or lilac-y kind of smell right here around the corner of the shoes. Yeah. And she said that was common. I smelled vanilla. I couldn't before. quite place it. It just was something that was out of place. It smelled like perfume, and so I like tried to discreetly lean in and see if anyone was wearing something like that. Because I, I, I didn't smell anything. Yeah. So. And that's that's fair, and I'm not taking and throwing that out there as evidence. I'm just saying that I caught something. That was my cell phone. Yep, yep, yeah, yeah, yeah. the uh, those that have died want their shoes kept here. According to the hostess. Yep. According to the hostess, yeah. Which makes sense, because shoes were far more valuable back then. I'm going to check my uh, phone to airplane mode. Yep. Because... I mean, if you're on the Wi-Fi, you'll still get some messages, but... Yeah, no, no I'm not on the Wi-Fi. So oh. we have a little storage area over here. We're not going to go into it. Yep. Um, Pretty. Mostly because I don't like it. Yeah, it's a little dangerous. But you can see um, that we've got some whole wheat uh, pancake mix over there. Delicious. And a 72-hour emergency kit. Reaching. That's the pancake mix in the white bucket. And yes, we're not joking. It does say whole, whole wheat. wheat pancake mix. Mm -mm. Yeah. Really easy also. Yeah. So... We're going to close this back up for the moment. Well, we found dinner when we get hungry. Yeah, heck yeah. yeah. We got whole wheat pancakes. Mm. We make some whole wheat pancakes. In, in defense, whole wheat pancakes are delicious. Are they? 
They are. I've not had a lot so, of oh, wait, anything. This is a crawl space that has been like boarded so up. <laughs> um, we were specifically told it's been boarded up partially due to the snake. Yeah. She said snake singular, but there's, there's never always, just one yeah, snake. never ever. Never ever. Slippery once. little snake. Mm. Slippery. So here we have the other office we were talking about right here. Is yep, watch your head, head. remember. Right. Yeah, sometimes I forget how tall I am. Yep, the piping in here is really low. You're also wearing heels. I'm not wearing heels. I thought you were. No, I thought... no not today. Not today? Oh. These are not heels. So this Gosh. is believed to be another office type area. Um, because it's uh, windows, window glass door, window on the... Yeah. But at the same time... Now this area of the house was built on after the original construction, including the basement here that we're in. Right, because that is the outside yep. wall of the house. Yep. Yeah, uh, we may be in the area that uh, originally existed as the stable. Yep. Well, but here, let's get some. Let's get some. Because if you look at the yeah, floor, it is. If you want to go in, go ahead. It's yeah. original brickwork. Yeah. Oh, I got a blip on the EMF. Okay. Yeah, let's back did. up. I'm gonna. Honestly. It could be a plethora of reasons. Well. And we're not really able to recreate it. But it did happen. I heard it. And you know, it could have been just me walking past you with my phone. Yeah, but... Uh, it's on airplane mode, though, so it shouldn't be doing too much. Yeah. Frankly, I'm surprised I'm still getting a signal yeah, down here. a little bit. See if you have anything. No. See, you're within about six foot before it starts to react. Yeah. And maybe that's just what it was. So. And that's a possibility. I would rather take and... And discount something as completely benign than to take and loud something as, look, we've got proof. Because if uh, someone else goes, well, it's obviously just the phone. Right. And we can't disprove that. Yep. We want to we wanna be our first naysayers. Yep. So we're going into a lock room. <laughs> <laughs> it's not quite locked. Okay, that's a horrible sound. Yep. And everyone... Watch your head. Yep. Yeah, because in order to get to the back rooms in here, you have to go under pipes. Now, this is the scariest thing in here right now, to be honest with you. Ducking yeah. cover room, as everybody keeps calling it. Bush light. <laughs> Haunted yeah. bush light. Haunted you bush light. here that uh, someone That's honestly left... the worst thing in the house. Is That's the what I just said. Yep. Someone has left an offering of a cigarette and a bush light and... Uh, maybe some propel, I guess. Uh, you know, I think that that's probably not necessarily an offering. It might be some remnants of the of the well, yeah the frat house days the the dartboard. Uh, that push light is not. Uh, no, no, I'm talking about the dartboard though. Oh, that's quite. Cool. That that's definitely that's frat boy central. So this was where they would keep horses internally. Uh, you can actually see the windows there were places the horses could come and look in and yep. look out. Yep, yep. Um, so we're not getting anything on the... Vehicle. And you can see different types of bricking, too, which might have been... So we're definitely in the old stable area. This for sure, out. for sure. And they used to be able to fit carriages in here. Mm -hmm. Which meant the uh, the ceiling was a lot, was not like this at the original. It was probably a lot Yeah, higher. this oh, is... Yeah. Um, this is an add-on on top of us. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Which uh, is sad. If you're unaware of Beatty, this house was actually built on a hill. And at the time, it was, it's not on the top. Because the top of the hill is actually like a quarter mile to the east, or to the west of us. But as many hills do, it has like ups and downs. And this was on a bit of a peak. If we went outside right now, you would see that um, the... The east side of the building has about a 15-foot wall that um, has a drop-off. A lot of the, a lot of that is added after the fact of the house being built, but it is definitely um, called a house on a hill for a reason. Yep. And it's not just because someone wanted to be cute with a Vincent Price reference. <laughs> Boo. Okay, well, I didn't want to reference the 2000 movie. Uh, okay, fair. I mean, it wasn't a bad movie, but if I'm going to reference the movie, I'm not going to reference it. <laughs> so, oh, we're not getting a reading off of the 
the uh, smoke alarm there, which is a little disturbing for a different reason. Well, and I get it. Old and house, I, you know. But I think we're gonna make our way downtown. Uh, this door actually leads outside. We are not, not going to open it. Yep, I think there's. It a... is being held firmly, though. If you'll look here, by a fork. Yep. And if you guys don't know, forks are probably one of the best security devices yeah. you can ever use. Because if you if you block it with a fork, nobody's getting in there. Spoon. Yeah. Um, there is a way to actually modify an actual fork to be a extra lock on an existing locking door. If you don't know, look it up uh, because it's really interesting, really cheap, and works as well as any of those ones you can pay money for. So we're gonna say goodbye to the bush light. Yep. Bye bush light. Bye bush light. And I think at this point we should go hang out by the, the piano. So we'll yeah. Go. Yeah. Hopefully, hopefully we didn't miss any readings while we were. I didn't hear anything, but... We couldn't have heard it from over here. We could have heard it if it went full blast. Maybe. I mean, because we're, we're kind of chatty Cathy's. That's true. You're chatty Cathy's. Shut up. I mean, you're more Cathy. He's more chatty. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm you're the Cathy awesome. one. So. <laughs> we got... No cutting <laughs> Oh, sorry. I think what we're going to do here is... Nope. I think those are just always on. That means we can unplug them. We are going to turn off this light if I can figure out where the switch is. Oh, it's just a cord. Um, and that door is open up there, so that means we might get an echo. Yep. But I'm going to put a cat ball on the piano. And I'm going to nestle it between a couple of the keys here so that we uh, can see that it's not going to be able to move on its own. Mm -hmm. And we're going to take and set this right there. And the rim pod is still right there. I do have the radio in my hand, so if I get too close with this, nothing. If we hit the button, it will set it off, but... Yeah. Presumably that'll be somebody else and not us. Yes, and that's very possible. So, there have been a lot of stories about the piano making notes. Not anything great, but you know, just a... Honestly, I've heard worse pianos. Yeah, so... Like, yeah, I mean, that sounds a good shape for how old it is. Yeah. Um, play Beethoven. <laughs> yeah, I don't think we're going to go that far. I'm just trying to maybe encourage something to uh, touch a key. And, well, if you don't have to worry about anything uh, physical, they can always touch the keys inside instead of on the surface. But any vibration should either set off the piano itself or the cat ball. Um, let's go ahead and give it a minute. Go ahead and cycle the recording. How's everyone doing on the live feed? This is our piano. I hope you all are having a good day. This area was a common area for both the slaves and workers of the house over the years. Um, everything from... Uh, Maintenance and landscaping and horse keepers would take and actually be housed down here. Uh, right now, just so everyone's aware, we do have a cat ball here that will sense motion. I'm not going to set that one off. I can show you with another one, though. Let me find the right pocket. Okay. We have some individuals upstairs moving some around. Other, other groups move around again. Yep. Uh, actually, let me find out. That's probably them coming downstairs, but... Uh, we're hearing a lot... We're hearing a lot of sound. Uh, are you guys coming downstairs? Yes, we are coming downstairs. Well, we did not realize it's been an hour, so we'll go ahead and round it up and... Uh, Kill it off here in a second. We'll meet you in the, in the uh, safe room. Uh, this is what happens when the rim pod actually gets activated. It can be activated by 
EMF. Uh, this time it was a walkie-talkie. Yes. Yeah. yeah. The Just thing's very sensitive. Yeah. In most cases, you would actually have to take and move into the field, but because of the invisible, like wall of technology that encompasses something like a walkie-talkie. Radio waves. Yes, airwaves. Wow. I know. Magnets, how does that shit work? Calm down, ICP. We're going chicken hunting later. Woohoo. <laughs> <laughs> so. um, I don't suspect we're really going to get anything at the moment, but I think that we will leave a cat ball here even when we're not. So um, the other group is heading in. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and do the same. So we'll catch you all here in a few minutes. I'll stay and hang out with the live feed. Okay. Uh, if you want to lead the way with the big light. Yep. How's everyone doing? Getting some behind the scenes action. Melissa, Katie, how are you? I'm going to go ahead and turn back on this light for whoever's coming Yep, for safety purposes, for sure, for sure. Because we're stupid, but we're not dumb. Dare to be stupid. Down the hall and to the So here's a lot of post-posthumous paintings and portraits. I think, uh, very interesting stuff. Very interesting. Hello. Moving. Okay, so there is like there's actually a setting for that, and that's this. At that point, it will just. What? Go ahead and say hi. We got two viewers. Oh, everybody say hi. Well, who all is it? Oh, no, that's Katie. All right, that's mm -hmm. my cousin Katie, and then, then uh, Caillou's mom, Melissa. Okay. So we're having loads of fun. We had a door, and uh, a ball moved. One of those balls actually moved about a good two and a half, three inches. Nice. We left a cat ball on the piano downstairs. Okay. Just so you're aware. Okay. That sounds good. So yeah, and then like getting the door slammed in the face. Woo! Love it. All right, I'm going to let you guys go. Have a great day. See you soon.